just your average journalist working at a local broadcasting station. Hey, look! But when a story brews, The cover falls. It's Story Boy! Saving the world, one story at a time. WK Today. He works for us. Good afternoon, Captains. I'm Sarah Antonelli. And I'm Josh Alicia. Today is Friday, January 4th, and we're coming to you live from Studio 304A with your daily announcements. Waterford Kettering High School Bands will be presenting an evening with Dave Bennett in the PAC tomorrow. It will feature professional clarinetist Dave Bennett and his jazz quartet. Proceeds from the concert will benefit the school's band program. Monday is Waterford Kettering's College Financial Aid Night. Thomas Miller, Assistant Director of Financial Aid at Baker College, will be presenting in the Performing Arts Center. He will walk you step by step through the application process for financial aid. All senior and junior families are encouraged to attend. Attention juniors that took the practice ACT this November. There will be a meeting for you and your parents on Wednesday, January 9th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. The Princeton Review will be here to give you your test results and go over your test taking strategies. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. OTC is having their annual open house for college and career exploration night. There will be sessions regarding the course offerings and college representatives from local colleges and universities. It will be held January 10th, 2013 from 4.30 to 7.30 at the Clarkston campus. If you are interested in enrolling at OTC, this is the event for you. There are many openings for OTC in the second semester. There is a, it is a third hour program offered during the school day. If you are interested, please see your counselor. Our own Justin Mooney caught up with Mr. Smitka to learn more about Room 303 and what changes occurred there. Um, around last the end of last year, we uh, were looking around where to move uh, me to a bigger space, and uh, Ms. Van Sickle and I, uh, we used this as a robot practice facility, and we kind of jokingly said, can this be my classroom? And I said, uh, no, but if you put a second floor, count me in. And about two weeks later, uh, that was actually happening. So, uh, 303 is uh, not your typical classroom. It's, you come in here, it's a lot different than any other Kettering classroom. It's two stories, um, at really tall ceilings. Uh, we have a CAD lab upstairs and a physical machine robot lab downstairs. So uh, compared to my room last year where it was like, uh, you know, computers and workbenches all in one room, uh, this is nice separation between the two. Uh, I teach the, the CAD, uh, Engineering CAD, Architecture CAD, and then Engineering Lab, which is a hands-on robotics class. Well, my Engineering CAD, we're doing a lot of 2D, 3D um, drafting, you know, uh, making parts. And then the Engineering Lab, we're currently working on uh, a Sea Perch, which is an underwater remote operated vehicle. So we have, we have nine, eight teams of uh, three or four students per team, and they're making a robot that's going to go in the pool and uh, do a task or a mission, we should say. Thanks, Justin, for the look into the new CAD lab. Now on to sports. Morning football workouts begin Monday at 6 a.m. in the South Gym. These workouts will be every Monday and Wednesday morning. Today, boys freshman basketball is home against Wald Lake Central High School at 4 p.m. Boys junior varsity basketball is also home against Wald Lake Central at 5 p.m., along with boys varsity basketball at 7 p.m. Also, today's ju girls' junior varsity basketball is away against Wald Lake Central High School at 5.30 p.m., along with girls' varsity basketball at 7 o'clock p.m. Saturday, girls' and boys' varsity bowling will be attending the Varsity Ladywood Tournament at 300 Bowl. Also, boys' varsity wrestling is away at the Bishop Foley Tournament at 9 a.m., along with boys' junior varsity wrestling at the, away at the Canton JV Tournament at 9 a.m. Boys Varsity Wrestling is attending the West Bloomfield Invitational away at 10 p.m. On Saturday, Boys Varsity Ice Hockey will be versing Swartz Creek away at Iceland Arena at 5 p.m. On Sunday, Boys and Girls Varsity Bowling will be versing Wild Lake Northern High School home at Central Bowl. 
Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Josh Alicia. And I'm Sarah Antonelli. We'll be back with another live show Monday featuring anchors Taylor Burry and Michael Cottonbaugh. In the meantime, have a great weekend, Captains.